Hello. Yep, I'm back. I keep sneaking in every so often. Anyway, let's see. Okay. I'm guessing the glasses aren't too bad for reflection. Anyway, I decided because I kept hearing interesting things about stuff that Walmart was carrying, and I'm going, hmm, they've got some expensive makeup now, and, and, and I really was not expecting what I found when I went through and looked at what they've got on their sale pages. I went through their online catalog and I'm going, really? Laura Geller, Nars, Dior, Guerlain. I, uh, it just, I'm, I'm confused. What the heck is going on? How do we end up with things like Guerlain and Nars at Wally World? Very, very strange stuff. Anyway, where have any of you seen anything interesting? I'm kind of trying to look around and see where all of a sudden things are just being strange. We have a glorious day here today. And yeah, it's August and I live in the high desert and we're talking 75 degrees, sunny, slight breeze. We had a thunderstorm the other night, and all of a sudden it just got cold. I'm going, all right, y'all are messing with me now. Things are just too freaking weird. They really are. Oh, I got to show you. Got to show you. My husband's been working on a couple of new mask patterns. This is the current one, and it's got the elastic bands to go around the ears. I have to fiddle with it a little bit when I'm wearing earrings, but there. <laughs> there. He's having fun doing these. He really is. He's sitting at the sewing machine currently, just going nuts. This one just came off the sewing machine. It's got strings hanging everywhere. But, yeah. Wear your dang mask. Don't want to make your own? Fine, go buy one. No, I am not selling the mascuses. We don't really have the ability to do a bunch for sale. I'd love to, though. It'd be fun. What do you think of the earrings? I took some little plastic tunnels. They're acrylic tunnels and glued the earrings to the acrylic tunnels. And then, you know, I just put the tunnel through the ear and go on about it. Now, there are some really, really, really nifty 
jewelry forms that you can get if you've got larger holes in your ears. And I think Nikki Raven makes some. But you have to have larger holes in your ears than I than I have because I stopped at eight gauge and six gauge. So you know my tunnels are tiny. They're not very big around. I'm not even sure you could see that. That's one of the uh, four millimeter a.k.a. 6-gauge tunnels without the back piece on it. So, yeah, once you get, you know, like 0-gauge or so, you can get some really nifty stuff. But I'm not intending to go that far. So I picked up some acrylic pieces that work just fine for people with small tunnels. And then I've got a whole bunch of dollar earrings that I glued them to. Oh, yeah, bunches. Bunches of dollar earrings that I've glued things to now. Now, this one I got backwards. The the acrylics, there's a kind of a wide circle end, and then it's got the tunnel, and then it's got the piece that comes off. And I wasn't paying attention. And I had the whole thing put together, and I glued the little piece to the back of the earring. So I have to thread the tunnel in through the back way and then screw it onto the back of the earring. This one I did right. And so you, you can't do this when you're tired. Just can't. I'm also going to, at some point, start doing some more of my jewelry making because I like doing odd-shaped stones and doing wire wraps on them. I finally got some sterling wire in, and I've got a gorgeous piece of ametrine that I want to work with. Now, if you're not familiar with ametrine, it's a piece of amethyst and a piece of citrine that grew so close to each other the crystals merged. So you get the purple stone with some golden crystal in. Since citrine's kind of a yellowy gold. You don't always get that much, but It's fun, because then you can put all kinds of other stones with it. I'm going to do the pendant wrap, and then I'm going to try and figure out what stones I want to put with it. Now, with most of my, especially the larger stones, because this one's about like that, is I will put strands of pearls interspaced with, you know, other stones that just plain look good with it and play with them. I like to play with the stones. I don't do anything really fancy. I don't do, you know, huge, big, Precious gems. I do. I stick to the semi-precious, and it's just it's fun. It really is. It's fun. Occasionally, I just get some like freshwater pearls, and some dichroic glass, or some of 
the Murano glass beads or something like that to just stick together. I like playing with beads. I like making jewelry. I like fiddling making jewelry. Yes, this was the, the earrings were a fiddle. But you see, I had all these post earrings that, you know, dollar earrings. And a lot of times they would break my ears out. So I started doing the stretching thing, got it just big enough to have a little tunnel. But it was difficult to put the post in and try to keep it in the tunnel, even with what I was doing, you know, the little bullet-shaped silicone backers. The, um, sometimes you could get it so that it would slide onto the end of the post. And if you put it on backwards, it goes into the back of the tunnel at least on the six millimeter ones. If I wanted to wear it on the eight millimeter ones, the little bullet silicone stoppers would not go in those. So, you know, it's only three millimeters. So, you know, it's not a lot of space. And some of the other shapes of the silicone backers just didn't fit at all. Just did not work. So that's when I started picking up the acrylic tunnels so that I could do things like just, you know, I got some, some gel super glue and stuck everything together. Anyway, there's the look for the day. It's part of another video. But, you know, what the heck. Throw some green at it, you know. I'm spending time using up stuff that I've gotten in, like, the Ipsy bags and stuff. And even if I'm not really fond of it, I don't really have anybody around here I can just hand things off to, especially things like this Dr. Brandt primer. It smells like Lemon Pledge. I can't just hand it off to, like, my daughter-in-law or somebody like that because she has a worse sensitivity than I do. And then there's the Honey Jarrett, which is, you know, that cushion thing that came in in one of the Ipsies. And, you know, both, both of these products came in the same Ipsy. I did a um, upgraded one for one month. The Honey Jarrett doesn't smell much better than the Dr. Brandt. So I'm working on using them up. And I'm working on doing, working through my entire palette collection. And I'm doing three looks out of each palette. This is one of the looks out of the second palette I'm doing. It's, I've already got the first palette up on the, on the site. So, if you're interested. But yeah, this is look one out of the next palette, which is a profusion palette. I like profusion. So, yes, this is going to be a short one. I'm still, if you, 
like I said, if you see expensive makeup in odd places, I want to know about it. I'm still just flabbergasted that Ken Dior and NARS and Too Faced and just way too much expensive stuff is at the Walmart. I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't get it. Dior. Walmart. NARS. Walmart. Guerlain. Walmart. These words are not anything I ever expected to hear together. Ever. Unless somebody was saying, you can't get it here. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Have fun. Stay out of trouble. Wear your mask. Be good. Mm -hmm.